Some of the strongest men on the planet. Look at his hand. Look at that arm. He's becoming an arm wrestler. Is he good enough to beat Lars? And last time, we expected Lars to do a proper splash. That's what he usually does, but it's a signature move. Look how much center control is from Chubataro. He's pressing in. Lars feels that power, and I believe Lars will make an adjustment and maybe go for a top roll at the okay, start. Come to the center so he can grip you. Look at the center. A lot of fighting. Don't, Look don't, how don't close he is. Don't start wrestling yet. Just get your grip. All this fighting, I think, a little bit will favor Lars because he's very used to. But okay. if you, you keep your give, hand pumped by wrist, not allowing wrist, your opponent to take a wrist, better grip. Wrist, Lars looks very, very relaxed. Very, wrist, very relaxed. Mark. Round wrist, number one. Shoulder. Shoulder. Ready to go, ready to go. A little bit wrist, of wrist, Lars. When I get the thumbs up over there. Shoulder, shoulder. Mm. But that is very, very close. I believe he will hit so some. Move. Go! Wow, 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 wow. That's a pin for Valeri. Just run through Lars. Just run through Lars. That was the unknown factor. We didn't know, we don't know. If you How are strong. out of gym, where Denis Siplenko, yeah. David Dadakian, also Alexei Boyevo, the time to time are training, uh, then pull, you kind of expect to see such a power. Yeah. And pulling uh, some of the strongest arms of all time. Of all time. Well, there is. More seriously, he's taking it just for maybe last three years and uh, of course you can see that he is not a beginner in a strength sport he has done a lot of strongman powerlifting wrestling before ex-wrestler he said he's doing 285 kilos close grip bench bench press and it's, it's not like he, he was doing look it at him just look at him people He's doing he it looks like a gorilla. Right now when he were preparing. I, I believe if he continues and he said he loves this sport because he believes there's so many things to learn here. He he wants to get better. He wants to grow. He he wants to learn. Maybe we have another crazy built super heavyweight. Yeah, but fight is not over yet. No, at no, all. no. And, and you know that Lars is so experienced. Lars is doing arm wrestling from 1998. So it's uh, more than 25 years experience and he has been multiple times in a podium in a WAF World Championships, in a European Championships. Yeah, it's always more than or, or almost 20 years ago. But still you will, he have all this experience. Let's see what Lars will do differently. Okay, got to like, come uh, back. Bayer did very good. Wrist. He blocked the center, copped the Wrist. hand, got it all Wrist. together. Mm -hmm. Rest. Rest. Let's get ready. Rest. Look, oh, well, well uh, so strong. He just he just uh, bullies the center. Okay. What I Lars really this. needs okay. to do Shoulder. is make him work Wrist. a little bit. Make him a little bit tired. Fight him One just warning. a little bit. Uh -huh. Just okay. a little bit. Absolutely. You know that. Yeah. Don't move. Will you he know go? that this guy with, can, with can climb right in a now, mountain for five hours? Will yeah. he go inside? Yes. Goes for a press. Uh, yeah. Straps. Yeah. Lars always has that option. Lars right. like, I'll try the top roll. He's like, no, I'll huh? try the it's, it's most dangerous for you as an arm wrestler yeah. if your opponent has many options. And Lars definitely has this. Flop press, side press, and, and we have center. seen that before. We have seen that how good it worked against uh, Matvey Orengi. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and he has he has pulled in a similar style against no, no, legends in our ah. sport. He has pulled like that with out of wrist, and he has gave hell of the match to John Brezenk and also Devon Lard. So, no move. yeah, no move. Lars, in my opinion, is probably one of the best uh, flop wrist pressers of all time. Uh, Right now we see a little evolution where he's uh, right now just looking for an opening, looking for a way to break his opponent. And uh, I don't know. Let's see. He he hit the center really good. He got Valera uh, on a B side, really close to the pin pad. But uh, it's easy to do. It's easy to do when you don't have a strap because you can just go to the side. 
we'll see what happens now. What will be adjustment from Valera? I think he needs to attack the side pressure of uh, Lars. Very aggressively. If he cannot get the center, he'll be in for a long day. Maybe Lars. It's sometimes not easy to pull against arm wrestlers who are pulling good enough flop wrist press, especially if you haven't practiced that before. Especially from the goal, who can pull there from the goal, who doesn't end up in position, but intentionally dump their hand, dump their wrist, and just goes rest. to the side. Lars rest. is going for a top roll. Okay, wrist. Mm -hmm. He's going for a top okay. roll. Look at, when I say wrist, straight. Okay. No, no, no. I'm surprised that guy with 55 centimeter biceps is able to get so close to hand with such a tight angle. Wow. Yeah, Lar Lars told us he has something similar to a king's move and he's right there. Lo Valera transitions to a press. Lars almost completely straight. 2-0. Wow. Wow. And it Very was also impressive. technically and tactically. Technically and tactically. Great pulling. Exactly. Exactly. For a guy who, who said to his baby, just few years seriously in arm wrestling, that was good transition. Even I picked Lars as a heavy favorite in this one because I just don't know where Valera's strength is. But we see a good transition, good arm wrestling, definitely. However, this match will continue to grow because I believe it will just get tougher for both of these guys from this point on. Look, Lars almost completely straight. He has a king's move. He yep. has something similar to a king's move. And Valero was... Also, Valero, when he went for this press, when he, when he did this transition, he sacrificed his wrist. And it's it's often a very good decision in such position. Yeah. But if you are longer in such position with, with, without a hand, without a wrist, question De Devon, how, Devon how good is your wrist will hold in a round three, round four. Devon is very big Lars fan. He, he very good friends for a very long time. Just again, in, he has some really important match today but he finds the time to come here and maybe give some advice to one of his buddies we talked before about uh, Valera's strength results and what he has done then uh, we didn't mention that Lars is ex strongman also did has has done some great results in powerlifting I think his best deadlift is 410 kilograms and he's uh, Still holding, I think, a Nordic record in a trap bar deadlift. 580 or 585 kilos. Lars is finally fighting, finally fighting the side pressure over there. He needs. He, knows, he needs. He absolutely needs. He absolutely needs. No, Just only grip. Just grip. Valera is doing very smart, very good pulling. I'm very, very impressed. Um, Will we see press? Shoulder. At last from Lars or I think it's gonna be a press and I think he's gonna go all in. Rotate but I don't know, maybe Rotate. in the strap he just doesn't want to. Okay, Without the good. strap it's uh Without the strap he was going for a press in yeah. the in the second round. Yeah, it was very close. It was very, very close. He it. Yeah. He, he changed the position. You wanna cover? It's like Lars yes, has two of That's the most most like, like the worst techniques to fight against he has a kings yeah, and he has a flop like so open, like both of these up. are great yeah. to draining open your up. opponent from whatever they have okay, from the hand no from the back pressure mm -hmm. from the side pressure even the pronator so all he needs i think is a little bit of time and i think he might crack the code but valera is doing amazing pulling i'm really really impressed by him center yeah, Lars, no this time 100% gonna go for press. 110% is gonna go for press. Don't move. Go! Go, 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 go. Oh, yes. Go, go, go. Press returns and it returns on King of the Table, oh. round three. That's why we were talking that uh, Lars is one of best flop free specialists in the world. There are, there are guys like Jerry Cordo, there are guys like Lars Roberken, and maybe just few others who can do it in a so high quality and so effective. 
I think the most interesting part about this one was it was very slow. It wasn't a fast. Usually the flop wrist just goes to position very slow. It was kind of slow getting to the side and slow getting to and the pin like, like I said before, you have to know how to fight against flop wrist. And we saw that Valera was still trying to just go backwards. fight with back pressure. And that's the biggest problem. If someone with, with a press gets on your biceps, gets on your elbow. That and put that arm under. Very impressive. Very impressive. We're in a match. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Valera is still ahead, but Lars just uh, So even 55 centimeter biceps are opening and not able to hold that stress. What's the adjustment Valera needs to make now? More side pressure engagement from the start. That was what was he was doing in the first two rounds exactly. But also Lars changed. Lars changed, yeah. and uh, he need to attack much more with wrist, and he he need to attack not only with back pressure but to aggressively attack to Lars rotator. It's impossible to press you with triceps or with, with, with flat hand if you are the one who is under and you are the one who is holding, for example, on your biceps. But you need that strength in the center to do that and that hand to do that. I, even Rest. in this one, like uh, versus good floppers, uh, the thing that works is a very, very aggressive hook. If he could get like good wrist flexion, just go to the side. He need to grip lower. He need to grip lower. Yes, and he's doing that. Seems like he's doing that. And he need to attack more with hand. Yeah. With Lars is so tricky now. Like he he feels exactly. He's like that's exactly what you are doing. If you are if you are more than twenty five five years in the sport, you should be tricky. Open. You should understand arm wrestling and come back a little bit. Lars, come back a little. You're almost off. Off, almost off the pad. There you go. And then you have to straighten us up. Open, 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 open. Round number four. Athlete's gonna take a grip. I'm, I'm right now like every time Lars pulls, I don't There's know no what movement. he's doing. Right? What, is, no what will be his game plan? Because now he feels like maybe he drains yeah. something, maybe he can do way. something else. Because I think he really wants the top roll. He really, really wants the top roll. Even now, the shoulder is kind of... Ah, he's coming forward. It's Ready? gonna be a press. Oh, no. It's gonna be a press. But okay. A little bit too fast. One, one, one foul for Lars. One foul for Lars. In the center. I have seen just one fight, one super match fight for uh, Valera. For Valera Chubotaru. Uh, I think in the summer it was, this year in summer, when he pulled... In Russia against Andrei Sharkov. Ooh, okay. And uh, okay, no won this fight. And uh, Sharkov, same as Lars, is very experienced arm wrestler. No moving. Number Bring four. Wrist back. Look Ready? at the size of the hand of. No, the hand. Stuff, stuff. Like he has. It should have. It should have. I don't know. You know, in, in Latvian it will cool ball the <laughs> <laughs> in English it would be big hammer, <laughs> you know. That that that's how it looks. It's so insanely big. People don't realize because Lars is also an extremely large man. But the hand difference well, is crazy. And also hand size of, hand of size. Valera is huge. Yeah. The yeah. thickness Straight of hand down. is very yeah. impressive. It's All he needs to do so is just to, to understand it. what he's doing. A little better, a little better, a little better. We go for, yeah, straps, straps. This time, Valera, let go. And sometimes you just need to let go. You can't, don't stay there for too long, right? You're draining not only your hand, you're draining everything, your pronator, your back pressure. Lars is looking very good. But to fight effectively against someone who is pulling so good in a flop wrist press, you need to you need to attack more that Open. pronator and also you need to at least a yeah, little bit separate that arm away it's from body and shoulder. So it's, uh, it's important so to fight in both directions, in direction to center to you and also of course in direction to 
Yeah, flop press press is one of those techniques that uh, if you haven't encountered someone who does that from the go, it's a very hard move to beat from some people who do it really, really well. And the thing is, there's not a lot of those people, so they're always exception. They're always gonna give you trouble because you know that's a thing you don't en encounter a lot. Top roll hook. It's like you know. Yeah, but it's also good if you have someone who's doing that great in, in your in your club. Oh, your so you can practice. technical level just grows. That's why it's so important in practice to have uh, as many good quality armor slots I mean, as possible. With different techniques. Okay. Exactly. So you can learn. Yeah. From yeah. I, I just just look at the size of Bill Collins' yeah. hand compared no to these monsters. Ready? Go! Well, they're a little bit better, but oh, fully out, fully out. Lars is holding. The referees will stop that because of dangerous yeah. position dangerous or strike position. down position. Yeah. Elbow foul. Elbow I foul. think the but elbow it, went off the bat. But also I would say it, it was, it was like as straight as probably Valera yes. can, can do. Yeah. If we will ask, ask, he can we will do. ask him Show us your his range of motion. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. Probably and um, a, I'm, I'm, a I'm range of motion I am for really, him. really huh? a little bit worried about him. He's still very young in this sport. In the, you know, more miles you have in your arms, more protected you are from all these injuries, from all these positions. And... Uh, you know, probably Lars is probably the worst thing you want to face on table where you're new in the sport. Pro probably in that position, where it was, was right now, biceps is a biceps tendon, is a biggest threat. I don't want to see anyone get injured, but that's part of sport, so... Uh, Strap is being applied, we're still in around number I'm, I'm sure if four. is able to go against him to go maybe to try to hook him or uh, yeah well, because I it seen seems a lot like his them. his back pressure is struggling yeah on the first two rounds he was very good with holding it arm very very close a lot of side pressure engagement but then Lars started resisting and that's what he needed to do he needed to resist he needed to drain because we saw that uh, Valera can do good flop wrist press as, as himself so maybe he Very can good transition from top roll to a hook. No moving. Hook. Yeah, he better. needs to come forward. He needs to come forward. He can still stay on the outside, but he needs to attack that side. No that moving. center of ours. Getting ready. Yeah. Round number four. Let me get finished. I'll stand you up. We are lying still. And... Don't move. We Go! are off. A little bit of late start from both of them. Wow. Yeah! Rise high and took Lars out of his position. 3 1. I'm so impressed by it. Not only, not only he's showing technical knowledge, power, but also great endurance for a guy of his size. For a guy of this size, it's absolutely great. There's definitely something in the water in Dennis's gym. <laughs> definitely, great pulling from Valera. Yeah, but he al he also Look. did what we said what we what we said before. He took away the pronator. And uh, yes, and he didn't pull back as much as he rose up. And also Lars forward. Yes. Lars elbow was forward of pad, and it actually was a elbow foul for Lars. Yeah, we see Devin Larratt back in Lars' corner. He's like, dude, I just told you what to do on round three. He's like, do I need to remind you? So, 3-1. Valeri Chubataru is winning this match versus Lars Rohrbaken. This is it. This is the moment. Lars cannot lose any single round. He has to win three rounds in a row from now. Maybe there's a potential this could go to Silver Bullet, but... Round number five will tell us the story. Will this be Valera or will it be Lars? I think Lars is still in a match. I think that kind of late start for both of them plays a big factor. In a press, you want to be first. You want to hit side really fast. You can be the second one. You can allow your opponent to get any control of your arm, your forearm, your pronator. And I think that's what Valera did. Really good. Uh, my friend. In the last few setups, I told that Valera is getting tired, but 
No. He proves us wrong. No. And he's very the same as dangerous. Very impressive. I think we have a new contender in super heavyweight. Again, he's gripping low. Yeah. Shoulder. Shoulder. Coming forward. Shoulder. Shoulder. Very, very good strategy. Coming forward. Lars is pushing his shoulder Don't forward. Move. He wants to go for the Ooh. press. That's one warning for Lars. One warning for Lars. Hooligan! Even all these yeah. small things, they kind of add up. You know, if you're a good presser, and I used to be, Lars, let's go. Uh, if you attack your let's opponent's go. pronator, their back pressure enough, they eventually will get tired. Oh, he's strong. Eventually will get tired. But Wider is looking very focused. He's in the match. Oh, yeah. 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 I think it's a pin. No. What's the decision from strap. referee? That's strap. a strap. That's a strap. It was, that was very, very close. close. Very close. Very close. I think close. it's a little bit lucky ah, for Wider this time because well oh. yes, it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Even even if uh -huh. it wasn't a pin, Wider left of the. Let the grip yes, go, you know. Did he open his fingers? I okay, feel no like move. he did. I feel like he did. But both guys are sweating like crazy. This has been pretty intense match. Open. Open. It hasn't been like a long match, right? Uh, all, all the rounds have been quite, quite fast. The thing is, they're still very hard. I know that uh, Valera is training in Russia together with Denis Siplinko, but he's from Moldova. Sure, he's, sure. he's born in Moldova. Yeah. And Lars is from Norway. Are they both to be strongest arm wrestlers in, in their own countries? Could someone in Norway pin Lars? Or, or uh, what about yeah, Moldova? For we all this is all the time. He can, but I don't <laughs> think he can. We, we know that uh, Daniel Prokopchuk Rest. is probably Rest. biggest star Rest. from, from yeah. Moldova in arm wrestling. Also some great names as... Uh, Oleg to Durian. Round number five. Don't move. Go! Lars is dumping the wrist completely. Puts the shoulder behind. Puts his shoulder behind. Puts his shoulder behind. Uh, Lars's shoulder went over the center line. So there's a rule in arm wrestling. You can't put your shoulder over the center line. That just means you, you pretty much climbed up on the table too far. And um, it's very hard to keep. If you, if you look position ah. to open it, right, yeah. here's the center right here. Put your hand side. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. You, shoulder. large shoulder went over the center line of the Highway. peg where you hold. So, Both your shoulders. that was the call. One warning, one foul for Lars. Okay, a little more on, a little more on the Getting ready. Yeah. Let's go. Shoulder. Don't move. Go! Shoulder. Lars is completely dumping his wrist. Much better with the shoulder. Much better protection. And I believe Gets that Lars on the is back pressure. And I believe that Lars could finish this fight. Oh, he, he's could waiting. he could bleed. He's out. waiting. He's bleeding. Lars Rolbaken takes it back. Three, two. <laughs> Valera is still ahead. Lars, two rounds. The Valera's three. <laughs> Valera, right now, it's the worst thing. When you feel like the victory is so close and you maybe make some mistakes just but to get it. it's not over yet? It's not no. over yet? It's 2-3? No. He has to calm down. He has to do what he did in round number four. That's what he needs to do. But how much of that back pressure is gone by now? Yeah. And That's it a good also pin. seems that good pin. it's very important for both of them to win this center position because no one of them have been able to get back from defensive position. Yeah. Generally, if 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 your offensive moves move works well and Lars gets in his position, he's effective and he's winning. And if Valeri gets in that position and he takes yeah. takes that position over to his side, yeah. it seems that uh, Lars is not able to. I have back I have a position. feeling this will definitely count as Lars' cardio for today. I think it, it will look He's, at him. He says that he could run back or cycle back to hotel after his win. Yeah. To have some usual cardio training. Yeah. The fittest man in arm wrestling. Great pull. I, I, I still believe, like Lars, in his core, he really wants the top yeah. roll. He really wants the top roll now. And, and I think he really wants the top roll. But now you can't risk it. You can't risk it. If you give 
if you give up an inch, a centimeter, a millimeter, you will never get it back. Round number six, potential to going round number seven. Valerie, three, to Lars, two. Surprise is always great in arm wrestling, but if you have found something what is working. Keep doing. Exactly. Keep doing. You can Go! See oh, Lars hits to the side. Again, needs to be careful with the shoulder. Gets the grip. And we will have... You can see how much it asks for from both athletes. In the first round, second round, even round three, they still fight for a grip. They were trying to climb higher, get deeper position no. right now. No. See, see, see that grip position? We will see when we'll, they will grip up, Come on. Up, grip up again. There are no much fighting going on. It's like both are happy. What are they complaining right now? Come on. Referee's grip. Referee's grip. Straps. Look at This is right here. It's straps. I think just Valerie's hand has blown up like crazy. Uh, you know, when your hand gets so pumped, you can't even close it. You can't even close it. And all you're hoping for is that your opponent is in the same shoes. The problem with Lars, you can see it from the start. Lars is giving up his wrist all the time. He's just giving up his wrist. They have to change sides. What happened? Okay, maybe they didn't change for the last round. Yeah, okay. We are still in round number six. Armour Round number six, all over the world. three, two. Yeah. Okay. Three, two. This match went crazier than expected. I, I predicted, and I think most of us predicted, that Lars Orbakan would be the favorite. And is putting a crazy fight. And he's so close to winning. All he needs is that one single pin, and it's all over. Will he have enough power just right now? Put everything behind his hand, come close, protect his pronator, protect the side, and just go. If he can do that, like the, I think for him it's two options. Either he can rise up or he can get the center. The rising worked really well in round number four. In, in the fight where you have three foul system, you should risk. Yes, you should risk. Yes, and yes, in, in yes, risk. Exactly. Yes, and if I would be in such a situation or I would be in whether it's corner, I would I would say take a risk. Either take a risk. And either this goes back or because this like I said before, if round number six both are will we go to a silver risk. bullet mm -hmm. or will this risk. be over? Risk. There's very oh, close oh. Lars no! stop, 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 stop. jumps in. You're blocking my arm. I got it. I got it. What is it? Okay. Uh, is there a call from referee? There's no call. There's no call. I think both of them start a little bit too early. Shoulders. They still have power. Shoulders. They still have power. Both of them want to win. Lars versus Valeri. Lars just gets to the side. So close. Gets the pin. 3-3. Three, three. We are going in the silver bullet match. Round number seven, Lars is definitely back with that press, with that I would say endurance press. is not most important physical ability, you need an arm wrestling. Yeah. But uh, of course, if you are strong enough to take the fight till this round number seven, then this endurance plays, plays a big role. Definitely, especially in this kind of super match. Valera won one, two, first two rounds. Then Lars get on the scoreboard with winning one. Then again Valera. Then again Lars. So right now we go to the fable, to the mystical, to the magical round number seven. Because we could say like, who, who is the strongest arm wrestler? And Valera won first two rounds. Theoretically we could say, Fresh yeah, but that's fresh, but no, but no, no, yeah, no, because someone, because someone uh, made up that we have to win two times. Exactly, to be good. but that's what I'm trying to say. If we're talking about fight, that this time it's best, best of seven. I, I always think the best armor are that who can win the most yep. times. Yep. Who can win the most times? The rules are rules for every event, a little bit different. Here you have to win four times 
to be the best armor star, to be the better armor star. To win the fight. I will say Valera is definitely a good armor star. And I believe like there's so much room for him to go. But he was very technical, very tactically good and pulled great. And uh, yeah, we will definitely see. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed and I'm a fan. Very humble guy as well, like Lars. Lars is super yeah. humble. But uh, whatever was like, I just want to learn and will be good experience. Round number seven, Lars gets in position very close. Come on, give us a strap. Give us a strap. Give us a strap. Okay, referee is going to take a look at the replay. I'm here from the commentary booth trying to see on some of the screens one of the replays. What are they looking for? But uh, Will we see a replay? Yeah, I would hope so. Okay, what is the call? Straps. 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 Yes, Good. round number seven, we go to straps. As you see, me and Giannis are huge fans of more armistice, not less armistice. Okay, just to put the strap on, okay? I want you level right here. The worst thing what you want to see in a fight like oh, this is that one is winning in some unclear Thumbs decision down. or on fouls, on... You want this clear win, and oh, definitely. hopefully that's what we will get. Definitely. To well, see well, who is better in let's this see, fight. Let's see how much Valera wants this. Okay. How much he wants this. And how much he has left. And I, I still feel like I'll ask. I'll, I believe if, if it's Lars, all fine with if his Lars wins, I'll ask him because I believe he wanted to top so bad he just couldn't. I really, I really believe because he's always kind of thinking of it, but. It's now or never. It's now or never. It's too risky to do that. But we can see also that Valera right now is not focusing anymore too much on his hand. And even in a setup, his wrist, time to time, is a little bit bent back. So Lars could definitely definitely make some look, look, surprise. Look, look, but, uh, look at the setup. We will see a little bit from the side. Is working from here, excellent like from Lars him. is giving up his wrist. He's, he's his press is working yeah. good for him. Why well. to change anything? Yeah. We see just intensity on Valera. Round Go! number seven goes in a good press position. Lars Rohrbacken takes it back. 4-3 wins the silver bullet he's round. He's coming back from 1-3 wow. and wins in a final round. Great victory, great fight from both athletes. Valery Chobotaru, he was so close to take this fight, and uh, but that's how it is in arm wrestling. Hopefully, he will. Hopefully, he will have some motivation to use this fight and learn, and come back next time even stronger great athlete super strong physically athlete from Moldova would love to see him back on a stage again same as Lars both heavyweights showed us good quality of arm wrestling often I say that I love to watch middleweights and light lightweights Sometimes even more because of technical ability, but this time I can say that it was great tactical and technical performance from both guys and uh, good quality arm wrestling.
I'm here with your winner, Lars Rohrbaken. But I have to say, I was extremely impressed by Valero. Can we get a round of applause? I want to ask you, do you want to, how, how bad did you want to top roll him? <laughs> Very bad, but uh, his arms is one thing, but I noticed his hands. <laughs> it was extremely hard to get a good grip, so my new stuff didn't work, so I had to go back to the old loss. Old school. Old school. Old school. So you just went for the press, and uh, was there any point in your mind you're like, uh, maybe I tr should try something different at like round number five, six, seven? Uh, no, because the first one where it didn't work, it didn't feel well, so I stick to basic. I really wanted to win, so. Like, I think round number three, Devon Lard came to your corner, then round number five, he came back, and I think he said, like, dude, do the same thing again. Don't do the other thing. Yeah, he basically said, don't lose this. <laughs> that was an amazing match. Uh, you're back. You're in heavyweight contendership. Is there a match you really wanted now? Uh, my plan was, if I win this, I have to sit down with myself and decide if I want to stay in heavyweight. If I do that, I have to be more heavy because I'm not that heavy. Now I can go in 105 and 150. So I will make up my mind now before Christmas. Okay, one more thing. Did anything surprise you? Did you is he stronger than you th thought he's going to be? Uh, I fear that he was strong, but he was even stronger in his hands. I suppose maybe his hand was his weaklings, but um, he was impressive. Good job. Hey, both of you, amazing match. One more time for Lars. I'll have one thing from Valera. Valera, I'll uh, do the translation. Uh, what was your experience in King of the Table? Да, очень круто. Очень круто ощущение. Незабываемые, как не в зале. Здесь сразу теряешься, и получается, не все силы включают твои процентов 70 максимум. Но сегодня понравилось, что не хотя бы не забился так быстро с первого раунда, хоть и держался. He said, absolutely amazing experience. It's not the same as arm wrestling in a gym with your buddies. Uh, you have to turn on 100%. And he was happy he didn't get that tired. Amazing match. Come on, one more time. That was probably something we didn't expect to happen. Thank you, guys.